yesterday um you saw what i would include or not include you saw how i packaged my press-ons it's like a cheap easy way i used the four by six card from vista prints and then i have these foil pouches that are five by seven these fit right inside um you might have to push it down a little bit but it'll fit like right under the zipper um so that's that and then inside of this pouch oh wait a minute even though this is in my other video i'll try to link it i use a double sided tape so you can press the press-ons on as far as what i put inside the package i put these orange buffers in you get like a huge pack online i can't remember the price because i ordered them like a year or so ago but they come in like they're attached like this and you just rip them off so i use well i give people a buffer i give them two alcohol prep wipes um i give them a mini file and then i provide them with glue i give them kds glue which is a popular glue i'm pretty sure if you've been in the nail um industry or just watching youtube for a while you'll hear a lot about kds glue it's pretty good um it's what i use with acrylic tips so i give them what i use why not um so it's pretty good now i'll show you how i would apply a press on nail so what you would want to do is wash and clean your hands really good so let's pretend that my hands are washed and cleaned then you would want to take something like a cuticle pusher. Let me grab one. I totally forgot I have this manicure set that has new cuticle pushers in it. I need to open it <laughs> and do the review. I just remember that. Um, I found this one laying in my um, drawer, but I will have an old nail on. Let me find a good nail. Actually, I don't want to use that. So let's say if you washed your hands, right? You would push back your cuticles gently. just to expose that area. Um, and then you would take your buffer and what you're going to do is kind of roughen up, remove the shine. You don't have to overdo this part, but you're gonna remove the shine from your nail, kind of create some scratches in it, just so that your press on nail has something to adhere to. Then you would remove the dust, or if you don't have one of these, you can also take your alcohol prep wipe. I'm not gonna open this cause I don't wanna use it, but let's pretend, I just use a lint free wipe. So let's pretend this is my alcohol prep wipe. You wanna wipe that down. If you don't have alcohol, you can use um, acetone. So you wanna wipe down your nail really good. Before doing this though, you guys, you wanna make sure you've sized your nail. So I didn't do that, but um, I'll grab a nail that fits me, that I think fits me. I just dropped a nail. Um, okay, so you have this. I'm gonna take some old glue I found in my drawer. That's why it looks all beat up right there. I would usually like, apply a little on my natural nail apply some in my press on I think I put too much on well I won't know apply a little though you don't want it like seeping out of the sides and stuff and rolling down and then you want to like line it up the cuticle and press down and that glue kind of like rolls out. If you saw that, it rolled out to the top. You want to try to get the air bubbles out. I think I might have a little air bubble. But if your nails are decorated, you're not going to see this. But this is just a visual to show you um, kind of how you want to do it. You want to hold this down for about, well, I guess it depends on the glue you're using. Because sometimes there's like three second glue or five second glue. Um, maybe eight to ten seconds. So that should be good. And it's on so I have a tiny little gap but you wouldn't be able to see that anyways if it was decorated if this was already on I was just trying to show you what it would look like but yeah and then it's on there like 
you know I will say the first day or a couple hours they might feel a little weird if you're not used to them or maybe that's just me because my nails are short um and I don't well I wear them here and there press-ons but um you'll get used to them I mean don't do anything crazy with them just like you wouldn't do anything crazy with your acrylics uh, don't do anything crazy with your press-ons, but they're on there pretty good. If you applied it really well and prepped your nails good and got the oils off and created a good, you know, like you buffed off and removed that shine good, you should get maybe up to two weeks. The longest I have worn mine for was three weeks and they were still on there pretty good. It's just that I needed to take them off and it, like it took me a while to even get them off, but this should be good to go. You would just keep doing that for the rest of the nail. Like I said, maybe size your nails first. Um, you want to make sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall. Also, um, how you could probably make your press-on nails last or be reusable. Let's say, um, you know, if after you remove, carefully remove these off of your nail and you have them, there's going to be this glue buildup in there, right? So what you could do... Um, if you could buy like a really cheap drill, I'll tell my clients, usually the drills were like seven or eight dollars or ten dollars on Amazon. Now I saw they raised the price to like 16 and 25 dollars. But if you could buy a drill and then inside the drill, it'll come with a kit or like drill bits. So let me show you. If you could use the drill bit that has the sanding band. I think it's like the man drill, man drill bit. So if you were to use this, but you wanna make sure, um, well actually since this is going inside the nail, um, like inside of this, it doesn't matter about the, the bit, not bit, the grit. You could literally take this and like gently buff out the glue also if you have one of these though um you can even pre-reffin the inside of this like after you've pre-reffined your natural nail you could go in and reffin this up too you know and then go in with the glue well wipe the dust out go in with the glue and put this on and you'll probably get even more extra adhesion on there but this is just to show you how to get the glue out you could gently go in and go like that. Um, when you get to the pinky, it might be too small. So um, there's other drill bits you can get creative with. I don't know, you might have something like this. You could probably gently go in, you know, put it on your drill and like clean that out. And that would probably help you get extra wear out of it. Now, there are these other things called tabs. Let me see if I can find one on my desk. I do have one here I don't want to open these I guess I will I'm not giving these out to anybody if you were using these they don't last that long in my opinion some people claim they can get like anywhere from one to five days out of these but I don't know I think I got like a few hours out of it but I think they're cool for if you just wanted to walk around with some nails in the house for the day or take some cute selfies um that's what I would recommend it for. Same thing though, you wanna prep your nail, dust off um, any dust, use your alcohol wipe, and then you would find one of these that fits your nail best. Um, maybe I'll go in with this. Hopefully this is not too big. So I've pulled this off, right? It has a little tab. I think this is too big for my nail. We'll find out. You kind of stick that in the middle of your nail. Rub it. See, my nails are short. They don't have that extra thing. So I'm gonna have this little extra part right here. You separate this little tab though, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? But see. My nails have that little extra piece, a free edge hanging off. This nail is too big, but let me find one. All right, so I found this nail. This is why I said pre-size them, just so that you're not transferring oils and messing up everything. But once again, 
kind of start from the cuticle like an angle. Hopefully this isn't crooked. And then just kind of press it down. Like roll it down. And then press. Make sure it's on there good. So press on. So we want to press on. But yeah. That's pretty much how you would do these if you are going to do them. Um, it At first glance it looks like it's on there but... Like I said, I wouldn't trust the, like if you're going out really quick and you're going to be careful, um, maybe just running some errands or something, I think it's fine. It might work for you though. There's different brands of it, but I don't trust it for long-term wear. I would go with this route. These are, these are on there good, so you'll be good to go. But this is just like temporary wear, rare, wear. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, hope that is helpful. I tried to make it quick for you guys. Um, you know, I'm excited to see a lot of people jump into the press on nail business. I think it's kind of cool um, to see everyone get into that now and be able to save the day and help their customers out who are having to um, take off their acrylic nails for a while and give them a break. So that's super cool. Um, good luck with your journey with that. As far as where to sell them at, um, I don't know if that's a question you guys have or not. I'm still new to that, but Etsy is like a good place to sell them or advertise on your social media. Um, I'd highly advertise, um, highly recommend, sorry, advertising on your social media. As far as how many nails to include, um, a prepackaged set of nails, I guess, ready to ship and go, I would put about 24. 22 to 24 nails in there or some people do the custom nails that are just 10 nails they ask people to do a sizing kit um, or measure their nails or they'll already have pre-done sizes like small medium large x large and they tell people to pick their size but if they need something more custom to their finger then they would do like a sizing guide and send in their measurements and stuff um I've just been doing the ready to ship nails. I have started to hand out sizing guides to people as they purchase from me though, just so that next time, if they do want to order, um, I can help them. I would know their sizes and tell them how to do their design. Sorry about that. <laughs> My drill was on and I was trying to turn it off. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions and, um, until next time. Also, I'll have some updates pretty soon, um, on some things. I wanted to let you know, I did announce my first little giveaway. It's going to be for the, this is messed up, the extends. Can you see that? The crystal finger. This is what I use in soft gel nail extensions. Like when I'm holding down the thing. And you see me like going like that with my clients or even myself. It's so easy to do nails with. Um, I know some people had some suggestions for like coffee mugs and things they turn upside down to get the same effect. But a lot of you guys were talking about this and you wanted it but you couldn't get onto the Extends website because you usually have to register and show you have a license or in school or finished or something. Um, so if that's been an issue for you and you're looking for one of these and you want one, um, I did order two. And I'm doing a giveaway. Anyone who has purchased a product from me between March 30th when I launched till April 17th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, they'll be eligible for the giveaway for one of these. And the cool thing about it, if you're purchasing from my site, I'll already have your address and can ship it out to you unless your address has changed. But yes, if you've already purchased, I will be entering your name in for you. Um, and yeah, anyone else is purchasing, I will be adding your name to the drawing. And The drawing will take place on April 18th. That is a Saturday. I'll figure out the exact time. But yeah, pretty much any um, purchase counts towards uh, an entry to the giveaway. So whether you want to purchase one bottle or the actual collection, I do offer afterpay as well. Um, I'm finding that that seems to be a popular option for a lot of you guys. So yeah, I would love for you guys to try out the polishes. Be sure to tag me in the look. Um, let me know your thoughts. And I am currently working on a couple more colors coming in. So I'm super excited about that and can't wait to share with you guys. But already, take care, be safe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.